I want to encourage you to go to authors' talks and hear them speak about their work, especially if you like their writing. But even if they don't write memoir, you can still learn a lot about writing from them. Ask them questions about their writing process. What inspires them to write? How do they meet deadlines? Anything that you want to know that would help you with your writing, ask them. They are usually more than willing to answer questions from interested readers. I don't read mystery, but my husband does. And I've heard David Baldacci speak several times. He is so funny. And he talks a lot about his writing misadventures, which makes it that much more funny. I've traveled all over the state of Florida and sometimes beyond its borders to hear authors I love speak, to have them sign my books and just chat with them. Sometimes I get so tongue-tied when I'm before an author I really love, but it always turns out to be a good experience. In this, the third week of the month, I am going to tell you about an author I met and his wonderful book. Hi, I'm Patricia Chaponthier, and welcome to episode 44 of the Life Writers Blog, where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life stories. Today, I want to tell you about an author and a book I really, really love. Probably 15, 16 years ago, I drove down to Vero Beach to a book festival. Vero's about three hours from Orlando to meet Mike Leonard. Mike was a well-known journalist and filmmaker of feature stories. In fact, he won an Emmy for some of his work. He was a regular contributor to the Today Show and he worked with NBC for 30 years. Mostly, he filmed and wrote stories about ordinary people who are usually overlooked in life. I found his book called The Ride of Our Lives, Roadside Lessons from an American Family. What Mike wanted to do was give his parents the ultimate family reunion. He rented two 37-foot-long RVs piled his parents, who had been married for 60 years, three of Mike's grown children and his daughter-in-law, into these RVs, and they drove across the country. They started in Arizona, and they ended up in Chicago, where Mike's daughter was to give birth to his first grandchild and his parents' first great-grandchild. They had many stops along the way, met a lot of interesting people, and of course, he filmed it as well as writing about their adventure. It is so blasted funny and touching and heartwarming all at the same time. One minute I'm laughing, another minute I'm crying with this book. I went down to Vero Beach to this book festival. After Mike's talk, I went outside to a tent where he was signing books. I brought my copy that I had already read and loved. Mike was just so personable. He was so friendly. I felt like I had known him for years. I was at the end of his line, so we had lots of time to talk. When I told him I helped people write their life stories and family histories, he got so excited. He thought that was just the greatest thing. And then he said, wait, wait a minute. There was a woman just here asking if I knew anyone who could help her write her story. And I told her, unfortunately, I didn't. I'm like, oh, that's a bummer. I should have come a few minutes earlier. And Mike says, yeah, she was right here, right here. I'll find her. So he stands up and he starts looking all around this crowd. It's outside. This whole area is up in a park and there's a crowd of people and tents everywhere. He says, she couldn't have gone far. I'll find her. I'll find her. I was like, 
Thank you, Mike, for wanting to do that. But don't worry about it. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it. And he's like, no, no, I have to find her. I have to find her. So he looks around some more. And then he finally says, wait, there she is. So Mike Leonard, award-winning author and filmmaker, takes off running down the street to descend on this poor, unsuspecting woman. She must have been a really good ways away because it took them five minutes or more to walk back to me. Mike introduced us and I talked to the woman about what she wanted to do. I gave her some basic information about what might help her. I gave her my card and told her to call me when she was ready for some help. And she did. It might have been two, three years later, but I ended up editing and coaching Jean DeLong through the writing of her book, Between the Woods and the Creek. And it's a book about her childhood and her love of horses. I will never forget Mike Leonard for his work, his writing, and his very kind gesture of bringing Jean and me together. If you want to learn more about Mike and read his book, that's the back of it. That's the RV and his parents. It's called The Ride of Our Lives by Mike Leonard. He also did a four-part series on this road trip. He made it for the Today Show, and it's just lovely. I will put a link down below where you can watch as well as read about his trip. So until next time, everybody, happy writing. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a get started roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them onto the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.